On May 11, 2018, two days before Mother's Day, Sharon Eubank, the first counselor in the General Relief Society presidency, wrote an article that appeared on the homepage of the church website titled, The Idea of Mothers in Zion Made Me Mad Until I Learned What It Meant. In the article, she said, I truly feel sorry for men on Mother's Day. This holiday, meant to honor and celebrate, is more often an emotional and spiritual minefield for almost everyone. Women who have no children or who wanted more children, or maybe different children. Women who feel they are failing or that someone failed them or that failure is around the corner. Women who wish they were free to mother or feel cut off from their mothers or never had the mother they wanted or can't be the mother they want to be. Sometimes it seems like there is no way to win here. She then openly admitted that Mother's Day programs had, in the past, become so uncomfortable that I couldn't bear to have everyone gauging my expression, so I skipped church. When a member of the General Relief Society presidency describes an official church meeting as something she would rather skip than attend, you would think there would have been quite a response. Perhaps a new guideline in the Handbook of Instructions advising bishoprics to avoid such practices. Instead, nothing official happened. Perhaps this was because at the end of the article, Sister Eubank sounds resigned to the fate of this tradition and decided to modify the definition of mother to include all women. Perhaps it was because the handbook doesn't even mention the term Mother's Day, let alone recommend Mother's Day programs. For whatever reason, the important conversation about why we do this in church and should we keep doing it never happened. We need to stop Mother's Day themed programs at church. I don't think themed meetings are a good idea generally, including Father's Day, but Mother's Day has become by far the worst offender. Now, before you get out your torches and pitchforks, hear me out. I'm not talking about the bishopric member saying, Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, just like saying Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there isn't the same as an entire program about veterans. I'm talking about the kind of meeting where the opening prayer goes like this. We're grateful to be gathered here for this special Mother's Day program and when the bishopric member conducting welcomes you to the special Mother's Day program, where all the speakers are assigned to talk about their mothers, the musical numbers are about mothers, and after the meeting, gifts are handed out to all the women. Then they're substituting for all the classes the women teach so they can all attend a special Mother's Day Relief Society meeting and canceling all leadership meetings before or after church. The purpose of sacrament meeting is to remember Jesus Christ by partaking of the sacrament, worshiping, building faith and testimony, and conducting word business. How is having this type of Mother's Day program doing any of these things? Instead, what we end up doing is, one, making people who would otherwise be at church not want to come, like Sister Eubank. Two, creating an environment of comparison where many women feel inadequate when compared to the greatest hits of motherhood shared from the pulpit. Three, modifying the definition of mother so that it loses its meaning. Four, spending sacred tithing funds on Mother's Day gifts. By the way, nothing in the handbook says word funds can be used for this. Number five, asking members to donate money or time towards creating gifts for a holiday meant to be celebrated at home with families. Six, causing businesses to be open on Sunday, like the time my ward ordered 200 chocolate cupcakes from the local bakery for Mother's Day gifts. When the bishopric member went to pick them up Sunday morning, the order had been misplaced. So the manager made all his employees come in, they were all home with their families, to make them so our ward could still hand them out that day. Let's just leave it to families to celebrate Mother's Day at home in their own way. I'm not against Mother's Day. People can still honor their mothers and we can leave the emotional and spiritual minefield out of our church meetings. Instead of dreading church on Mother's Day, wouldn't it be a wonderful gift to all members? If they knew church would just be focused on the truths of the gospel, we won't be anti-Mother's Day if we leave the celebrating to the individuals and families at home and just let church be church. Thanks for watching.